Hello everybody and welcome to Kerbal Space Program where, I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm just happy I'm not recording Operation Logistics right now. I needed this break. Anyway, the entire point of this particular series is to put a spaceport on Minmus, one that we can land at, refuel, launch whatever sort of, uh, whatever sort of missions we want to from a much lower gravity environment with full fuel. So that's the idea. It's going to take some work to get there, though. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and start the game. Now, I know that I said at some point in several places that this was going to be a vanilla playthrough. It's technically not quite vanilla, but it's very close. Very, very close. So, I mean, we could resume saved, but I deleted all the save games. So we're going to start a new game, and it's going to be a career, and we'll just call this Minmus Base. Excellent. Okay, so this is a career mode playthrough, and the one the one mod that we do have installed right now is X Science, just because I I'm sorry, I can't live without it. Now I think the policy is going to be we're only going to get the science once. We're not really gonna go after it multiple times. Just because we don't need that much science to get to Minmus, and it it gets a little obnoxious. Like, I, I think the version of X-Science that I have is a little bit outdated, and it doesn't really keep track of it exactly correctly. So we're only going to go after it once. Just to make things a little easier. So we'll go ahead and grab the ga gather scientific data from Kerbin and launch our first vessel. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So, let's see if we can murder Jeb. Oh uh, no, Jeb is going to survive. We're going to use a command pod and a flea. Uh, we are going to have fuel in the flea, I think. But we are also going to need our, if I can remember where it is, utility. We're going to need our parachute, for sure. We're also going to need a scientific, scientific data gatherer. We'll have mystery goo. Excellent. And we're going to launch this. Not even going to bother saving it. This craft is not worth saving. First things first, we're going to gather a little bit of science and recover. So let's go ahead and crew report. Mystery crew observation. And this right here is why I have X science. We're going to EVA, grab our EVA report, up back in, and recover the vessel. Nice and easy. Free science. Eight free science, to be precise. And we made some money with world firsts and contract parameters complete. Okay, so what other contracts do we have available? We can escape the atmosphere, which we're going to do eventually, but not immediately. I'm going to go ahead and grab Engineering 101 right away for the too hot thermometer. Excellent. I've done this intro a million times, and I have a reasonably efficient path through. But once we start launching, things will slow down, to be sure. Also, you may be able to hear the special guest star, Weasley. He is currently hollering in the hallway. He does that a lot. Do I want to save this? Wait, no, this is to leave the VAB. I want to launch. So we're just going to grab the data from the thermometer again. We don't have an experiment storage unit, so we're going to have to recover. There we go, temperature scan. And we're close enough on the first gather. So we're just going to head back. There we go. Grab our, like, 2.4 science. Now, how much do we need for this? Five? Okay, excellent. We can grab basic rocketry. We're not going to do anything with it just yet, though. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually launch our first flight now. So, in order to do that, we should definitely split these into separate areas. What's our thrust to weight here? Probably ridiculous. And this is built in now, by the way. We can now see our our stage thrust to weight ratio, which is super nice. So our thrust to weight ratio is 6.66, which is a little insane. Let's bring that down. 3.63. It doesn't update quite as quickly as I would like it to. 2.6. 1.5. Maybe like 20% thrust limiter. 1.33. That seems good. 
Okay, let's go ahead and launch this. We don't want to go too high, but that will allow us to go substantially further without having to deal with atmospheric effects. Now we're not going to use the mystery goo here, for obvious reasons, but I'm going to turn on SAS and let's go. I, I don't see any reason to not. Glorious. Crew report, temperature scan, mystery goo observation. Fantastic. And I do have the results window suppressed, so it automatically takes those. Okay. Just a little bit higher here. We're, we're going to start turning over the ocean now. In fact, let's just turn as much as we can. I'm holding down the button and it's not going very far. But I want to be over the ocean. There we go. And we are over the ocean now. So I think we can safely deploy the parachute. And head on back down. Fantastic. Now I am noticing that apparently OBS is having difficulties recording this, and I'm not sure why. I'll experiment with that after this video, I think, and try to figure out what's going on there. Because it wasn't having these issues when I was doing the previous series. Interesting. I tabbed out, and it's back at 60. So this is a problem I was having in StarCraft, actually. That's fascinating. That's fascinating indeed. I might have to change my encoder, which would be a little awkward to be sure. But let's go ahead and land here. Okay, come on. There we go. We're going to be able to EVA report in the water, but nothing else because we did not have the uh, experiment storage unit, which is unfortunate. But that is to be expected. Okay. There we go. Splash down. And now we should be able to EVA report. Like that. We can't hold another of any of these other ones, so, so we'll just recover this vessel. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. So that's 34 science for us, and a bunch of money. Now, we could take one of these. Um, do I actually care about any of these? Test the swivel at the launch site? I actually do care about that. That's just free money. We'll take that. And we'll do that in just a moment. We did, of course, launch our first vessel. And we broke a bunch of speed records and such. Fantastic. Now, I want to grab survivability because we need to be making our way towards basic science here for the experiment storage unit and the science junior. Those are going to be super important for us. So let's go ahead and take this and then otherwise save up for basic science. I would love to grab general rocketry, but not just yet. Okay. So let's go into the VAB and start building our first science rocket. I'm going to ditch this guy here. I'm actually going to ditch this guy here as well. We'll leave the parachute. But we'll get some T-100 fuel tanks. We'll call it... Mm, that should be sufficient for now. Will that allow us to break the Atmo? I'm not actually sure. What do we got going on here? 2100 meters per second, very high thrust to weight ratio. Okay, we'll go ahead and move this guy over here. I mean, that should do the trick for now. Also, this music seems a little on the loud side. I'll maybe turn that down in a little bit, like in between episodes. So let's go ahead and 
Do we have the drogue shoots? Yes, we do. We'll have a pair of drogue shoots on here because that's super important. We'll give them their own stage. Fantastic. Okay. And then what else do we need? Well, we need our payload. So we need this service bay. Now, technically, this service bay will go below the Science Junior. And then we are also going to have a decoupler right here. Excellent. That decoupler can be in its own stage. Like that. And then inside of the service bay, we're going to put our science experiments. And this is going to be specifically, for right now, I'm going to put in... I want to put in two. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and put in two. If I can get them rotated the way I want them. Well, that's not awkward at all. That's the way I wanted them rotated. Excellent. So we'll put in two goo storage units, but we'll only put in one barometer, since that's a reusable experiment, and one thermometer, for the same reason. Excellent. Okay. And this is going to be what we're recovering. The rest of this rocket will be expendable, for now. We may do some recovery later on, but... Let's see, this should be down in phase th or stage 3. So that's now 1928 meters per second. I don't know if that's going to get us out of the atmosphere or not. Well, it will, actually. I'm pretty sure. What's our thrust to weight? 2.33? Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't think we need anything else, really. But I am going to actually save this one. And what should we call our first rocket? Hmm. That's a good question. That is a good question indeed. Perhaps we should name them after battle mechs, because that's always fun. We will call this one then the Flea. We'll call it the Flea one. Fantastic. Okay, let's see if we can actually get any real actual progress here. Get this thing hopefully into a suborbital flight. Do we want to take an atmospheric pressure scan here? Yes, we do. So we'll take that and we'll recover this. Okay, so that brings us up to 23 science. So we're going to need to get 22 science to be able to get what we need. And we'll just go ahead and relaunch this. Okay, let's throttle it up, and I think we're pretty much good to go. Take an atmospheric pressure scan. Oh, this thrust to weight is high. This thrust to weight is real high. Okay, that's 200 meters per second. Now note that I do not have Mech MechJeb currently installed on this version, so I'm going to have to do all of these manually, so that will be exciting. Especially without KER, having info up here, that's always super nice. Oh, we started pitching a bit there. Crew report, temperature scan. Okay, let's flatten our trajectory. Temperature scan. Mystery goo observation. Okay. We are out of fuel. We are also overheating substantially. But I think we're going to be okay. What's our apoapsis, anyway? I never even checked. Okay, we're not leaving the atmosphere, but that's okay. It's actually just fine. We managed to live, somehow. I'm not entirely sure how. I'm going to go with shenanigans. I don't think we need to use SAS anymore. 
Oh, we actually got the test completed. I wasn't even trying to do that. Okay, that's exciting stuff. So, I mean, we definitely didn't make it out of the atmosphere. We could have if I had gone up for, like, if I had gone up higher, but I decided to go out so that we'd have a bunch of air between us and the ground. Like, this is way more air than this. So that then we can hopefully slow down enough to use drogue shoots. And I'm saving the other mystery goo observation here until we hit, hit water, because we don't have an, a water mystery goo observation just yet. And this is uh, taking a while. I'm going to go ahead and physics warp it. Okay, we are in descent. Unphysics warping because it can do weird things during this descent. Come on. Slow down. It's a little nerve-wracking this early on. You know what? Let's ditch... Oh my, that was awkward. Let's ditch that, but we are facing the wrong direction. Thanks, aerodynamic pressure. And there's no way we can possibly turn. That's okay. We're definitely going to be able to use drogue shoots. We're at 9 kilometers. 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh boy, one, drug shoots. <laughs> oh, that was a little too close. And technically, I used it when they were orange, so that was really risky. We got a little lucky there. That was certainly exciting. Perhaps too exciting. However, we did get a land distance record. I should hope so. And how much science are we going to get from this? Not as much as I was hoping, but I think a fair amount. Okay, let's grab that mystery goo observation. Okay, no EVA report. Recover vessel. Did we get the 45 science that we need? That was the entire goal of that flight. We did. Fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in there, and next episode... We will continue accumulating science for our eventual starbase on Minmus. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.